everybody so today is Thursday and today is the day we are going to transplant our seedlings into the raised garden bed yeah so you all are gonna see me put it together Psych! so what actually happened was I opened it up was prepared to um, build the garden bed but I quickly decided after reading the instructions that this was not going to work. And it was in this moment that Brittany realized that she was not doing it. So I politely put everything back up and it was hot. I was kind of frustrated already. Didn't, didn't have a screwdriver. So decided I was going to save that for another day. So today I am getting ready to transplant some of my seedlings into their raised garden bed. Um, it's really hot. It's like three o'clock right now. I should have done this in the morning, um, but that's okay. <laughs> I forgot I lived in Georgia and that it's hot, but I am going to figure out where I'm going to place my garden bed in the yard. Not exactly sure where I want to place it. Just got finished assembling it together. It's back here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put it, put the soil in, and then you all are gonna see me put in my seedlings. So, so this is just an overview of the backyard. I My flowers required full sun, so I knew I was gonna place my raised garden beds in an area where they got full sun. And I also took in consideration into where they could get water source. So I um, placed it where the sprinklers would be going off. They go off every morning. So these are my bags of soil. I got my soil from a local farm. They were about $6 each and it's their raised garden bed mix. I only got five bags but i should have gotten more it didn't quite cover the entire garden bed i ended up using just a standard miracle grow mix that i had so before i transplanted my seeds into the raised garden bed I was just inspecting the flowers and as you notice that some of the leaves were turning yellow that's normal for those baby leaves but not really normal for the rest of them this is a marigold and some of the leaves have started to die i was thinking that maybe it was possibly root rot so i decided to look at the roots um According to Google, if the roots are like black, that's a sign of root rot. And so here I am just trying to gently take it out. And as you can see, the roots aren't in, weren't in black, but they also aren't in like very long. I don't know, it just looked a little weird. But yeah, so that's just me inspecting the seeds. And so this is what the raised garden bed looked like after I transplanted all the seedlings. I did include footage of me actually planting the seedlings into the garden bed just because I filmed it on a different camera and I'm being lazy.
30th and it's like seven eight o'clock in the morning and I'm out here by the raised garden bed kind of a little disappointed right now because I think my marigolds are gonna die the I don't know what it is I looked at I googled what the possible causes could be it could be because I've been doing overhead watering which is not ideal but I've been doing overhead watering I may have sprayed too much um, fertilizer I could have just been too rough with the transplanting from the individual pots to the raised bed um, I'm really just not sure what I did wrong and that's the thing about gardening I feel like there's so many um, like ways or reasons why your flowers might not be doing well um, cuz of disease cuz of pests cuz of the soil so I'm really disappointed about that especially because I felt like my marigolds were so strong like look at the stems they are so well I can't show you now but I'll show you in a minute the stems were so strong so um, that's disappointing overall not really sure how I'm feeling the stems on the zinnias are like so strong I'm so proud of them I just hope they can they'll survive So it is Monday, May 3rd or 4th. It's actually currently raining. I'm about to go under the shed in a minute, but just wanted to come out here and show you all what my raised garden bed was looking like. Um, I am a little nervous because I never got the netting <clears throat> to put in between so they would stand up. I'm afraid the rains are going to, the rains are going to, um, make them topple over but we will see I've noticed I don't know if it's the mill I'm I'm thinking my flowers are gonna die um, all of them I feel like they're okay I'm about to hold on it's raining <clears throat> there is like white spots on some of the zinnias and um not sure if it's powdery mildew or not but if i had to guess that's what it would probably do i woke up this morning and it was super humid which i know that's something that kind of encourages the growth um <clears throat> but yeah so i'm feeling a little the well the marigolds are i'm probably just going to take those up because those are basically dead um <clears throat> and I'm afraid now I'm gonna have to pull up my zinnias because the leaves are starting to like really yellow and again have the white patches which I think might be mildew but um, yeah I um, am in my favorite spot at the raised garden bed. Um, I just got off of work, if you can't tell by my uniform. But I'm looking at my flowers because yesterday was the first day that, since I've planted them, that they've been out here and experienced like rain from the sky. I showed you all how stormy it was yesterday. Um, and it was raining all day and the rains were pretty hard and I am here to tell you today that my flowers they actually kind of look better than what they looked like before I don't know maybe I'm hyping myself up or confused a little bit but they kind of look better than what they look like before but so yeah um, 
so that's kind of really or they at the very least they don't look worse than what they look like before so hopefully i'll have bloom soon because it's been two months almost Thank you.